good well. This is the input value, this is the output value. Okay. Here we are having one three here, another three. All the three are connected through five and five. Okay. In between there, there is a four by three left. There is one twelve by five. Okay. So what are the some of the external power values that you increase? Here there is an external power. When this external power increases, what happens? And this PV ratio error. That also increases. Previously, PV ratio was suppose 10 is too much and 10 is too much. Now the error will increase. This will become 9.5 is too much, this will become 10.5 is too much. Because those between this world is like that. Or start of error. So due to this PV error, in the case of external power, the input and output value are constant. There is no difference in input and output value. But there is difference in the PV ratio. So due to that, this current and this current are different. Due to the PV ratio error, this current and this current are different. So there is a difference and that difference will flow through this film part. And this is another guy that will take part and this circuit breaker will be dripped out. Okay, and it's equal to that. For the external power. In external power, the relay should not drift, but the relay should be given external power. So there is a disadvantage of simple differential in so how this problem is overcome. Let's see. The percentage differential scheme, okay. In percentage differential scheme, what happens? Now we are connecting here one coil, here another coil. This is called the standing coil. What is the job of restraining coil? A restraining coil produces a restraining curve. And that restraining curve counterbalances the operating curve. And the operating curve <coughs> is produced during the ratio error. Okay. Suppose due to the PV ratio error, the operating curve direction is this one. So we need to counterbalance this curve because in external small case, the relay should not drift. So what will happen? Uh, there will be a restraining curve in this direction. And if it is remaining, it is a lot better. So how does it produce? Let's see that. Here, this training operating coil is on. Here, this training coil is on. Like this. Okay. You can see here. And this is operating coil. The operating coil is attached. To the center of the listening coil. The cutting coil is attached to the center of the listening coil. These are the two terminals of listening coil. These are the two terminals of listening coil. And this is the junction, this is the junction. This one is. Okay. Thank you. 